Let's if you saw E.T. like come out of your closet, would you be scared or be Yes. Like, no. Are you fucking kidding <laughs> what me? We're having sex. <laughs> <laughs> Action. What's up, homies? It's the Joystick Show. We're here. My name is Bobby, the director. Correct. This is my pal Dylan, the producer. I like that. My buddy Jerry, uh, uh, the, the engineer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'll, Joey, I'll computer graphics, the but... face. Hey, can, be, can Jerry be like digital arts or something? I want Jerry, right? I want Jerry to be costumed. All right, what, what, what role do you guys want? Design. I'm the director. What do you want to be? Go ahead. Uh, I don't know. I'll take engineer. That sounds cool. All right, sounds good. What are you, who do you want to be? What? Well, I'm cool with producer. Producer, yeah. who do you want to be? I'm cool with face. Face? All right, there we go. Mm-hmm. Fucking <clears throat> three film people and one guy from the A-team. That's a, <laughs> that's a joke for me. Welcome to the Joystick hey. Show. Uh, this is going to be a real fun one, but before we get into it, it'd be helpful if you guys could drop a like for us. If you guys feel like it, you cool. subscribe to the channel while you're there. You know, Extra cool. That'd be extra cool that'd for sure. That'd be really cool. And uh, if you want to hear about some of the stuff we're talking about right here, stick around because we're going to be talking about that. And as you can tell by that list, uh, we're talking movies today. We're talking a lot, a lot, a lot of about movies. movies. It's going to be a movie day. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Jerry's going to have the time of his life with this movie themed <laughs> episode. Jerry the Cinephile. Yep. Uh, but before we get started... I thought it'd be interesting to refresh everybody's movie knowledge, you okay. know, just to get the blood pumping in terms of the the movie <clears throat> heart. I don't know. I like that. The, the blood pumps to that, I guess. Yeah. So Citizen I, King. I have a segment that I've prepared that I, I've prepared for a long time. It took a, a while to make everything. Uh, I, I'll explain it in a second, but for now, everybody, you can pull your buzzers out. I had them hide them in their laps. And if nobody... Oh, that's just a... Uh, a font website. Nice. If nobody, <laughs> if everybody could turn away from the screen for one second in typical joystick fashion. Always. Oh, so I can pro. pull up my new favorite concoction. You may look. Guys, it's time to play poorly drawn posters. <laughs> oh, shit. So this is like jo- Joey's segment, but even harder. A little funny. bit, yeah. Ah, so if you remember last week, Joey had a really great segment where yeah. we, uh, we we did playbill presumptions, where Joey showed us legitimate playbills from, you know, some obscure, some popular Broadway shows, and we had to figure out what those shows were actually titled without, you know, seeing the title. Yeah. I took it upon myself to do something similar with movie posters, mm. but it'd be too easy to just take the words out of the poster. So what did I decide to do instead? I decided to spend two and a half hours in Microsoft Paint drawing, redrawing every single one of these posters from hand. And might I say, you know, they're terrible, <laughs> but they're also incredible. Like, I got it like, 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 like I feel like it's even better because it's like minimal, you know, yeah, minimalistic. Yeah, yeah. So like, like I'm you, so proud of myself. Yeah, I just you use the, the mouse or do I you use have the a mouse. Pad? I use the What's mouse. What's that game that was on the cell on the phone that people used to play a lot? The drawing game. I know what you're talking about. Bro, that game was yes, popping for like a I year. I know what, what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. You, people drew with each other. Yeah. yeah. I remember that And the game. colors sucked and you, <laughs> yeah. you were just like kind of fucked there. So long story short, uh, we're going to play poorly drawn posters. Yes. Uh, I just want to clarify. I technically, I did use MS Paint for the first 30 like minutes and then I just couldn't. So I switched to Photoshop, but the premise is still the same. It, it looks, oh, you still drew. Yeah, I still drew them by hand. Okay. Uh, you know, they're all classics. These are all like very, for the most part, you know, recognizable movie posters. I didn't throw any weird ringers in there. Okay. And you all have your buzzers. If you think you know it, you may uh, hit them and the first one to buzz may get a, get an answer, right? Gotcha. Uh, sorry, Jerry. I know you're not much of a movie guy, <laughs> but... <laughs> What's the rule? Hand on the table, hand underneath? What we I doing? like hand on the table. I think that's yeah, fine. And then I, don't over. I don't think there's cool. any problem with that. You know, gentlemen's agreement. You guys yeah, 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 yeah. So you guys ready for number one? Let's Correct. go. Let's, Let's jump into it. it. Bam. Which Jaws. Is, uh, that is Jaws. Okay. As nice. you can see, that's a shark that I drew. That's actually really well this done. Is really you, see, good. you see what I mean, right? You see what I mean. These because aren't half bad. If it were me, that would look like shit. <laughs> like, I can't do animals. That's my thing. I cannot do. I can do I a can cat. Do I mean, I, 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 I obviously can't do fucking people. It just looks <laughs> hey, like, that, that looks works, good. Right? Yeah, you're you're shitting on yourself. Right, that, way that, too that much. That looks equally like the the raft after the kid gets eaten, and it's just the raft. It looks like that. But yeah, make my students draw next time. All right, so yeah, good job, guys. That one is definitely Jaws. That's a point for Joey. You guys ready for number? I'll buzz in super quickly then, because I feel like I'm gonna get it if I know it. Right? I told Jerry. I was like, Jerry, even if you don't have the knowledge, you can technically just buzz in and use context. Shark boy and lava girl, man. All right, you guys ready for number two? Yes. Hop into it. Bam. 
I don't know. This back one. to the Future. It is Back oh. to the Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's, that's that's for a second. fucking Marty <laughs> McFly with the orange vest. He's checking his watch. Uh, I I, I kind of slacked because I was gonna actually have the posters next to them, but you have to take my word for it. These are fucking close. Okay. No mm-hmm. word. Like I can imagine. Joey's fucking quick, man. No word. Be quicker, man. Yeah. All I'm right. Buzz in. I don't even. I'm not even gonna know it. Shut up. <laughs> you guys ready for number three? That one's Dylan. <laughs> yeah. That one's definitely <laughs> Dylan. The Jurassic Park? This is Jurassic Park, yes. Okay. Which one, though? No, this is Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay. This is Jurassic, okay. Jurassic Park. They're getting yes. me with the Lost World. No, no, no. <laughs> Not bad. Look at that. He's a fucking... Look. You did that by, with the mouse? I did that with the mouse. I did that with the mouse. 100 percent that's those are supposed to be trees on the bottom they look a little like mushrooms but i see spartus sure it's all about the colors you know they're supposed to be trees they're the uh they're the little guys from uh banjo kazooie that you collect the The (laughs) jinjos yeah (laughs) all right we got two points for joey we got one point for dylan by the way there's eight of these we're going into number four you ready all right bam uh fucking Silence of the Lamb. It is Silence of the Lamb. Wow. Very good. Nice. Yes, bro. Nice. Yes. That is uh, three points for nice. Joey and one for Dylan. Very good. Bob, I'm you draw really well. <laughs> <laughs> you draw really well to the point that I'm like, this to me this could be the post. It's a fucking mouse. <laughs> now man. we just need one that we do have we have Jose do the NSFW one. Oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 Where it's like a need. dick going yeah, in her yeah, mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ready? Some rap. <laughs> Some crap. <laughs> Keep it going. We're going into uh, what is this number five? Yeah. All right. Bam. Dylan. This is uh, E. T. That is E. T. Foam home. That is E. T. Foam home. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Nice. This little moon. Yo, look at those hands. That bike nice. is fucking. Good. That, that's bike a good bike. Bike is a good bike. I told you I'm proud of it, man. Okay. Like I told you, it's Wait. nothing great. I have to remind myself that you said what? It was two or three hours working on. It was this. like two and a half hours. Okay. Because so I gotta wish you made it worse. I gotta wish you did like stick figures. Yeah. And shit. I would have done stick figures. The that next two like that I. The next two that I did took. Like each at least twenty five minutes. Oh, okay. There's very a lot of detail. You know what you have is, five you know what you need to do on some fucking Jackbox. Like do it in thirty seconds. Yeah. Boom. Right. What happened, Jerry? I said, does he have five fingers? I don't know, Jerry. I wasn't paying that much attention, <laughs> but let's just say he does, doesn't. I don't even know how many he has there, to be honest. If you saw E.T. like come out of your closet, would you be scared or? Be yes. Like, no. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding <laughs> me? We're having sex. <laughs> <laughs> No, those uh, are those are all the tweets. Is we're having sex, or my friends would beat him with a hammer. It's like those are the two. Got you. Those are all. Why are those the two? You either always. fuck the alien, yeah, or you, you beat him up and throw him over into the river. Yeah. All right. So, let's go. Uh, what is that? Four for no, three for Joey, two for yes. Dylan. All right, Damn. we're going into numero six. Bam. Jerry got that one. I don't know this one. Jerry. Watchmen. I don't know. Watchmen. It is not Watchmen. <laughs> I don't know who answered that one. I'm going to count from three and then... Who I are, didn't touch it. You didn't touch it? No. Okay, so, so I go... Yes. All oh, right. Thank you for the... Thank you for I the, know what it is. Thank, I, I know you know what it is, but thank he you for the... He knows what it is? Thank you for the honor system. Go ahead, Dylan. This is your chance. Oh. oh. Real quick, Joey. Not bad, right? It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, You fucking sh- did shadows and everything. I did. Damn. This is too tough. easy now. What the <laughs> fuck is this? I... I I have to do. I you gotta give a guess, buddy. Yeah, you want to phone a, a friend? Uh, I would. <laughs> you want to phone a friend that he gets the point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just. I don't even know. I'm just gonna go with like Citizen Kane. I don't know. It's not Citizen Kane, Joey. Would you like to steal? Yeah, it's the Exorcist. It is the Exorcist. Uh, you have a T-shirt with that on it, right? Yeah, like Japanese t-shirt. letters. Yeah, I have a T-shirt of that, and uh, Tatiana has Van's shoes with that image on Lit- it. Wow. Yeah. Fun fact: If you guys were better friends, you would notice that that's one of the fucking uh, wallpapers on my computer. So come on, guys. That is also <laughs> one of the wallpapers. All right, number seven. This one also took a lot of work. I'm looking at you, Dill. Dilla. Uh, this is. Uh, Pulp Fiction. That is Pulp Fiction. Uh, that's the the office. That's a woman. Bro. That's my best Uma Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> I did my hardest. There's a lampshade in the corner. <laughs> There's a little gun. I don't know what that blue thing is supposed to be, but it's in the poster. Okay. The only thing I didn't put it's were the passport. words. Okay. That should be Pulp Fiction on the top, and no, that should be iPod. Tarantino and all the names. <laughs> it's an iPad. Those, those '70s iPods. So that's gonna be uh, four for <laughs> Joey and three for Dylan. Mm-hmm. Dylan can technically tie here, or Joey can win, or Jerry can get a point. Yeah. <laughs> all the stakes. We'll see what board, happens. Baby. You ready? Yeah. Bam. 
Jerry. This is alien. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Jerry got a point. <laughs> Two. Jerry won. That's Let's go. Fun. Jerry should have just fucking straight up won. <laughs> Jerry won. Great job, Jerry. I mean, Joey wins, but great nah, job. Nah, that's the Ben Jerry. 10 alien, bro. It's the movie Alien, <laughs> but it'd be funny if that's how you got it, though. <laughs> Back to alien fucking. People want to fuck that alien, too. Isn't that just an egg? No, the 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 actual the xenomorph. Actual xenomorph. Gotcha. Yeah, oh, that's a, that's that's too much. Yeah, I don't know. But, the, but, but the head but game, but that head <laughs> game strong. Well, thanks for playing poorly drawn posters, boys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that, was, that was really these good. were good. Yeah. Continue to toot my horn all, over my incredible <laughs> Photoshop art. I think I did not too bad. No, that was really good. And uh, here's a link if you want to buy the posters. I'll print them out. <laughs> yes. Put out the poster and sell them. All right, let's dive right into it, okay. Jerry. We've got we got a surprise for you, pal. What's that? So as you know, we we mentioned that this is going to be a movie episode, and as you know, right. you've got a list that you've been compiling of movies that you have to watch. Right. But we we want to help you out here. Oh, uh, okay. So what we did, or what rather I did, is I told the guys that we're going to give you some movie recommendations based on five genres of movies. Okay. I like this. five genres of movies. We're okay. each going to state our case. We're just going to tell you about the movies. You could ask us questions. Blah blah blah. And then after the end of each one you're going to tell us which one you're adding to the list okay, okay theoretically funny. speaking you can add all of them to the list ah, but for mm, your for the game purposes the, you're picking one, one. Wait, so how many are you each giving me one per genre okay 15 and then total. you have to pick okay, cool, which cool, one cool. you want to add to your like list. so to give you a choice these are the five genres and you can tell us which one you want to start with all right all right we've got comedy we've got comedy sadder brother drama we've got action we've got animation and we've got sci-fi slash horror Let's do it in that order. I don't know how I start. Comedy first. Comedy first. Does anybody oh, want to start in general? Oh, I have this written down. I could start because I, I gave this some thoughts. I'm gonna give. Happened. I'm gonna start real quick, right? Because I actually think Dylan will get this. Okay. Also, Dylan said he was gonna give some honorable mentions, so I'm just gonna say real quick. I had a couple honorable mentions. I was thinking classics. Oh yeah. Or classics several. to me like Hot Fuzz. I thought that was oh, a good ooh, one. Ooh, classic. Uh, there was another one that is I'm blanking on now, but I was like, man, if Jerry hasn't seen this, he has to. But regardless. Uh, I was coming very close to picking a different movie, and then I was like, wait, there's an older <laughs> movie that's really funny that just emanates Jerry. Okay. And that is Airplane. <laughs> Airplane. Yes. Tell me not that movie is straight up Jerry's fucking sense of humor. Because Top Secret, we watched kinda, the highlights. Yeah, so. and you know what's funny? I, I had my dad like kind of like help me with like, what, what would you think would Jerry... Be? And then my dad was like, Airplane's good, but I feel like... A lot of the jokes go over people who aren't born in that time period. No, Jerry's all about that that dumb no, pun that, humor. That, that, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, my dad also said, "Was like, Air- airplane is good." Comedy. That's the one with this guy, uh, fucking Leslie Nielsen. Leslie it's an Nielsen. old movie. It's old. Airplane uh, is like a like eighty seven seventies or eighties seventies, I think. Movie. It's a comedy movie with Leslie Nielsen, the guy from The Naked it's like Gun. Right towards that era. The Naked you, Gun. You ever seen superhero movie? I it's have a not parody movie. Alright, he's the old guy in all those <laughs> fucking parody movies. But all you need to know that it's an airplane parody movie and it plays off those spoofy jokes and stuff okay. like that, but it's incredibly famous I gotta, and popular. I gotta pick uh should have picked um what's it called? The other one. The old one. Top Tucky secret? Fried movie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Metal. <laughs> Who wants to go next? I'll go next. Uh my movie comes from two thousand two, a long, long time ago. Uh it is a movie called Kung Pao Enter the Fist. What it is is that it's a movie done by, let me see, I keep forgetting his name, S- Steve Odekirk, I probably, okay. probably said that wrong, yeah. but uh, he basically took the Hong Kong karate movie Savage Killers mm-hmm. and spliced it to put himself, a white man, in the as the main character, <laughs> dubbed all the voices, Correct. and it's like, it's a hit or miss, it's, it's like... <laughs> Just everyone's like talking over each other. People are saying the batshit things, and he's just like in the movie too. Just an old Hong Kong movie, and this guy in the movie as well. Um, random ass humor. Uh, I I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's just dumb. It's just really funny, and, and like I think Jerry would enjoy it. Did your dad have a hand in that one? No. Okay, I was about to say, was your dad like the racist Chinese kung fu movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> Got you. I'll go, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, you're the only one who can go, area. pal. Yeah, so originally I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to pick a sports movie. Because when I thought comedy, that was the first thing I thought of. 
Well, that's stupid. I'm Sports pick... movies are either really funny or really dramatic. Yeah, you know, exactly. Like, I could have picked Invincible with Mark Wahlberg, right? <laughs> yeah. What an iconic movie. But no, I picked a movie that actually isn't that funny, but just emanates a fun energy, and that's Office Space. Okay. Uh, okay yeah. Absolute classic movie. Uh, Jerry, it's an office place comedy. I think that when I saw this movie originally, I was a young child. Mm -hmm. uh, I did not get any of the jokes. I still don't get half of the jokes, but they're fucking hilarious. Every character is like the most ridiculous person. His neighbor is hysterical. Mm -hmm. uh, and the entire soundtrack is old school 90s hip hop like Wu-Tang. Yeah, but everyone in the movie is white. It, yeah, it doesn't fit. It's like <laughs> oh my every God. like he's driving in the car. It's that he takes off work. It's that every fucking day. It's like you ever seen that scene from Family Guy where uh, Brian and Stewie destroy the the Surf and Bird record to the hip hop song in slow motion with the baseball oh, bat? That? That's from Office Space. Uh, There's a joke where they destroy their boss's printer. Like they all get fired and they and they're like, we got to take it out on him. And it cuts mm -hmm. to hardcore hip hop yeah. and they're just like, and these are like nerdy ass <laughs> Office dudes. So. So which one you add into the list? Uh, if you Jerry? have any questions, uh, if you have to ask about the plot, we can fill you in. Who's the who's who's the main character in Kung Pao? Uh, it's that that white guy. <laughs> what white guy? The like, guy is he a famous it. actor? Or no, uh, or no it's like the same. Story? The director that made it. Oh, he's himself. the director. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he put himself in the movie. Ah. Uh, who plays the main character in yours? His name is Leslie Nielsen. He's in all of those older, like, spoof movies. Very old guy. Gray hair. Your dog's like this or something like that. Hmm. I think I'm probably going to watch all of them, to be honest. I have to, I have to we go to all the list. We're bad at this game. <laughs> you got to pick, Jerry. You got to But the pick. one that, I, that sounds the most interesting for me to watch is Kung Pao. That one sounds like the, yeah, like right. the most, like, it's stupid. It's dumb. It's yeah. funny. Jerry's racist. Okay. <laughs> Airplane. Airplane's it's, and let it. me defend this movie. Real quick, it's it. not racist. Licking of all, all the jokes, it, there's nothing that makes fun of the Asian culture. No, it like, just straight up, puts, Airplane might be more racist. Airplane is more no, racist. Yeah. Yeah. Airplane has, like, eight jokes that are way more racist. Yeah. 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 Hard but for what it's worth, like, comedy level, like, Airplane and Kung Pao are right there. They're just both stupid fucking movies. At least Office Space has, like, a plot and shit. Yeah, Office yeah. Space is more movie. Office Space is pretty stupid, though. Yeah. But it is dumb. Yeah, it's, a dumb sure. it's a dumb Yay, thing. Yay, Kung Pao. All right, we got, we got drama, we got animation, sci-fi, horror, and, uh, and, and uh, Let's do drama. action. You want to do drama? Yeah. Anybody want to go first this time? I'll go first. Okay. Um, when he said drama, only one movie popped <laughs> into my head, and that's Stand By Me. Uh, that's a movie about four boys that overhear that there's a dead body in the forest near their neighborhood. I didn't even think of that. Uh, they skip school, so they all run into the forest to find this dead body. And on the way to the dead body, they learn more about each other, each other's home life. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah. The guy from Kangaroo Jack is fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and young. Mm. Oh, man. No, that's that's actually a really solid movie. It's a, it's one of, it's funny because it's a Stephen King movie, but it's one of his, like, lesser, or rather it's a Stephen King story, a book, but it's, like, not one of his horror ones. Yeah, I feel like I've heard of it before. It's a really famous movie. It's an movie. iconic movie. Super yeah. famous. Family Guy made fun of it. Old school. Yeah, Family Guy has, like, a whole, like, third episode about it mm. or, like, parodying it. You want to go? Yeah, I will go. So I didn't really know what to think of because this is the one genre that I like. I don't like. Like I, I mean, because mm. like a lot of other genres have heartfelt moments. They have, movie. but they're not the focus. Yeah, of, and it's like if you yeah. have a movie that's just focused on it, and I was like, okay, now I got to think of like tragedy. Uh -huh. And I was like trying to in my head, I was like, what? What's a movie I would like? But I'm gonna go with uh, the Stephen Hawking biography movie, The Theory of Everything. The Theory of Everything, mm. uh, which is probably the most like very dramatic, yeah, like s sad, but also like just just I don't know a lot of ups and downs. Which is like I, I usually don't like movies like that because it's like you know what's gonna happen. It's mm. based on a real person. Yeah. I know the events. I know what you know what he's like ready. now. <laughs> I know what he's like now. I want right. to see how he gets to that point. Obviously, but like somehow it's still like it still got to me. I was like, oh shit. Mm -hmm. There's like a three minute montage in the middle, and then a five minute montage. That like the movie loves montages, and mm -hmm. you're just like, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So mm, uh, I was I was thinking about different dramas that I, I would have recommended. At one point, I, I came really close to recommending After Sun, which is a movie I fell in love with last year. But like you know, it's really sad, and it's it. I feel like it's a good story, but it's not really <sighs> even anything that we can fully relate to. You said After Sun. After Sun. What is that about again? It's a movie about a guy who goes on a vacation mm -hmm. with his young daughter, and he's young as well. But the movie's just about as much as it 
it, it, the movie's just as much, as much about him as it is her. Like you get to see both yeah. of their experiences. I forgot. I, I've heard of that movie f- somewhere before. Probably me. Mm-hmm. It's, Probably. A, it's a fantastic After movie. Sign. But I actually figured I wanted to to recommend a bit more lighthearted of a drama. It's mm-hmm. actually like a comedy drama a little bit, but it definitely it tugs more to the heartstrings. And that is going to be the Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Mm. Oh, uh, I heard of that movie. Jose is a big fan of this movie. Great, uh, great, like book. Great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's actually, I think the one that I'm talking about is a rendition done by Ben Stiller, where he acts in it. I think he might have directed it at the same time, but it's actually an older movie as well. But I really like Ben Stiller's rendition of it since it's uh, newer and modern. Basically about a guy who uh, has a really just like simple job at a magazine. Like he develops pictures Mm -hmm. but the guy who he gets the pictures from who's like this incredible photographer who does like the craziest events and and wildlife shoots sends this on sends him on like an incredible journey where he goes from being what he thought was just like a normal guy who daydreams all the time to actually living out his daydreams in real life Mm -hmm. so it's cool because the movie starts from like uh the guy who's just thinking about doing all this cool stuff to the guy who actually ends up doing all the fucking cool stuff Mm -hmm. interesting I i got the movie mixed up i was thinking of that movie of the the guy with the the deformity that he was like de aging. Uh, Benjamin Button. Uh, That's yeah, the one. Yeah. <laughs> I think I saw that one. Uh, the, and real quick, the best way I could describe different. Walter Mitty is it's like an it feels like a modern Forrest Gump a little bit because he's like everywhere doing all, all a bunch of different things. Modern and I Forrest picked Gump. it because I feel like in your area in life right now, like you know how you're branching out and mm-hmm. seeing new places of the world and doing new things. It feels like a very good movie to watch. So. Mm. Yeah, I kind of I. I so I'm t- I'm stuck between that one and the one Dylan recommended because I just like watching like nonfiction movies also like if mm-hmm. I if I can find a good one which I guess is like it's a pretty honest honest movie, yeah so it has it's yeah. like you know fictionalized I feel it. like both those were more up Jerry's yeah. alley too Ben Stiller mm-hmm. longboards in my movie so <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that many Ben Stiller Didn't movies actually won the Oscar. What? Yo, Night Didn't Eddie Redmayne win the Oscar? I that saw year? like that. That's the first one I saw. Or For no. a Theory of Everything? Yeah. He may have. Oh, okay. He won I mean, the Oscar. It's a great, maybe. It's a great <laughs> No, it's a great movie for sure. It's a fantastic movie. <laughs> but Stephen Hawking, like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Can he longboard? Uh, I mean, they're probably both going to go on the list, but the one that I'll probably watch first is uh, he cannot. the one Bobby recommended. Yeah, yeah so okay. Favorite. No, you, should, you should definitely watch them all. Just don't watch Stand By Me. Are you throwing up the posters <laughs> while I'm like, poof? Like, uh, now I am. No, I now am. you're drawing all the other. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. Ah, you're doing Stand By Me. Just. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Oh no 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 okay. no no, okay. no Bobby no don't do it <laughs> don't. it's not worth it this shit takes enough fucking time to edit already <laughs> all right we got action animation and sci-fi slash horror where you want to go animation animation Woo! I'll go right off the bat bro I've been telling you you gotta watch How to Train Your Fucking Dragon bro. <laughs> you gotta watch this movie man Vikings dragons they're not supposed to live together but they find a way to live together it's really good man yo I was stuck on this one for a while <laughs> Dylan you go okay uh, so uh, I wanted to work in uh, one of my favorite directors in some way I know where you're going with this uh, I know exactly where you're going you know where I'm going with this going with okay this. so uh, is it a movie about a fox Oh, you, would, sh- you would think that. Is it a movie about dogs? Yeah, it's that one. Gotcha. That's where I went with this because I had to fit the director in. Uh, Joey uh, and everyone, Jerry, imagine if dogs got COVID. That's not what happens in the movie, but essentially that's what happens. <laughs> uh, mainline Island, Japan, uh, dogs have a virus. Fuck those dogs. They all go on an island. Somehow a dog that's not rabid ends up on the island. Shit goes down. You see the adventure. Fantastic movie. That actually is a pretty what good movie. What movie is that? Isle of, Dogs. Isle of Dogs. I remember when that movie came out. So there was a lot it's of It's a weird animation type, right? Remember the other, yeah. remember it's the like, other day when you were it's like, like... stop motion, kind of. Remember yeah. the other day when you were like, oh, I should watch the Fantastic Mr. Fox movie because you watched yeah. the, read the book? It's from Wes Anderson, and it's, it's that exact same stop motion yeah. animation style. But it's like Asian, and humor too. And it's, like, it's like Asian influence I and remember stuff. seeing the commercials and stuff And a like killer that. voice cat. I mean, oh, honestly, any Wes Anderson movie is going to have a killer Scarlett cat. Yeah, everyone was really and, good in that movie. Yeah. Uh, my movie, I think you might have seen it... Uh, let me just remember. I think I didn't know if I changed it or not. No, I kept it. Uh, the movie is The Iron Giant. You ever seen that? Uh, I have seen that one. Okay. Damn. So then, uh, what was my second choice? 
You know what? Fuck it. Uh, you ever see Nimona, the one I mentioned earlier, about a guy that is framed for a crime that he didn't commit, and it's like a really serious crime, and everyone in the village is like, yo, this guy's a fucking villain. He's crazy. But this one like character that's a shapeshifter sees him and is like, nah, I want to be his henchman. Like, he looks dope. I'm going to be with him. And he's like, I'm not evil. And she's like, whatever you say, but we're going to go out and like clear your name while I fuck shit up. And it's a pretty dope movie. I like the animation. Now that now that Joey's talked about this, I've realized that I also have all these honorable mentions. My, yeah, right. Can I say my honorable yeah. mention? My honorable mention was Beavis and Butthead Do America. Nah. <laughs> no. Fantastic movie. Nah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I wouldn't use 10 yeah, out of 10 yeah, yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, who's the, who's the voice actress for Nimona? It's that girl from Kick-Ass. <sighs> Chloe Grace Moretz, right? Uh, yeah, that's what this is. All right. Where are you going, man? Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm going Isle of Dogs. Shocker! Damn, Isle of Dogs is good. <laughs> you gotta watch. I got one. Because we all hyped it up. You gotta watch How to Train Your Dragon, though, man. <laughs> yeah, I was God. gonna, I was gonna honor a woman. You gotta one. watch How to Train Your Dragon just to watch How to Train Your Dragon too. Like that's I, yeah, that's the one I wanted to too. say, but I you I can't say if you haven't seen. Right. I've only seen bits and pieces of two and three, and my sister has all of them on Blu-ray. Two is like. But two is the only time I've watched, like literally, not no exaggeration. I've seen all of the Marvel movies, and you know how big of a Marvel fan I am. Right, correct. How to Train Your Dragon Two is the only movie I watched that I jumped out of my seat. And I was like, <laughs> like I've never popped <laughs> off during a movie. It Especially was crazy. An animated movie. Yeah, right. Yeah, like yeah. about like dragons. Was it in theaters or at home? It was at home, thank okay. God. But I jumped out of bed. And I was like, let's fucking go. I watched this movie on a plane, so I'm just imagining myself on a plane. Like, let's go. All right. He has his headphones plugged in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm plugging. We got two more to go. We could go some action or we could go sci fi slash horror. Action. Oh, Lights action. camera, baby. Dylan, go first. I don't think Dylan oh, went first. Oh, okay. Uh, Jerry, this is a movie of my people. <laughs> it's not really. I, I know what yeah, it is. Yeah, I, you're yeah. so good at yeah. this. Can I, can I take a guess? <laughs> yeah. It's about saints. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And there are Boondocks. It stars Norman Reedus from Walking Dead. Uh, it is uh, a movie about Irish mafia, uh, Irish criminals, a lot of shooting, a lot of violence, a lot of the N-word. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. But uh, it's a great, it's a really good movie. No, Boondock uh, Saints is like a cult yeah, classic. It's a cult though. classic. I remember when I first watched the movie, I didn't like it that much, and I was just wrong. Uh, there's a prayer that they do before they kill someone mm-hmm. that's fucking sick. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. For sure. I yeah, like interesting. it. Interesting. You next? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. The movie I recommend is a movie uh, called Jumper. It's about a guy that finds out that he has the ability. <laughs> Shut up. It's about the guy that has the ability. He finds out that he can teleport due to an accident. He went to go, like, he had a crush on a girl and her snow globe went into, like, a pond that was frozen. Mm-hmm. And he went to go get it for her. And when he fell down out of fear, and he used the ability to get out. Mm-hmm. And he takes advantage of that power only to find out that there's a society hunting down people with that power. Because they're like, these people could jump around the world. They're not paying for any transportation. It's like the power of God and basically <laughs> shit. Um, they're not going to pay for up. They're not playing for trains. <laughs> <laughs> they got to kill these more, people. More so on a, like, a belief that they're God and they need to be stopped. And uh, the leader of that organization, or at least the person hunting down the guy in the movie, is Samuel Jackson. Mm. I think I've heard of that movie. And it's a it's a good movie. It's cool to Where'd see. Where the owl uh, go? I've had it with these motherfucking teleporters. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was it's dope to see the guy just like in a blink just teleport, and it gets to a point where he gets so lazy he's teleporting in his own house. Like he's teleporting to the fridge, to the window, to the couch, <laughs> like, and you see it in time, like, and I'm like, that is so sick. I mean, wouldn't you? It's the fucking sickest thing ever. Just saying. It's like blowing stuff up with your mind. I just watched that movie recently. All right, Bobby, what's your movie? My action recommendation is going to be Nobody, starring Bob Odenkirk, a.k.a. Saul from Better Call Saul. Yeah. My man, Saul Goodman. <laughs> Great movie, you know? It seems to be a regular family man, but you realize he, uh, deep down under he's actually a fucking stone-cold, smart killer. Best way I could describe it is it's very much John Wicky, so much so that it's made by the same exact people and actually exists in the John Wick universe. And uh, to further that, uh, he it just gets progressively more badass the more you watch it, which is probably my favorite thing about it. Sam, so, yeah. what were you? What was your option? Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints. Jumper. Jumper. Nobody. Nobody. Mm. 
I think I'm gonna go with jumper on this one. Let's go. You're wrong, but that's <laughs> nobody's good though. Too. I had fun watching nobody. Yeah, nobody's I, good. The, the problem I have with that movie is that it's Bob Odenkirk. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the best part. That's the best part. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's supposed like movie. yeah. To give him credit, he like trained with like legitimate trainers to yeah, do all of the action scenes. But I've watched shit. too much Better Call Saul to Fair. see him as like an action. He's like Fair. a fucking. Fair. Like a lawyer. I haven't you know? seen Better Call Saul. I saw him as just like this is a dad. Yeah. And you know what's funny? On I saw I review movies on Letterbox when I'm bored. Um, a lot of the reviews were like, "This is like the dad movie. Like this is the movie that all these like dads are like, yeah." <laughs> He's just like a goofy dude. I don't know in, in those shows. Mm-hmm. Very true. All right, <laughs> we're we on our last one. We're on the last yeah, category: the last sci-fi slash horror. I did a slash here because I figured some of us are more sci-fi people, some of us are more horror people. Yeah, and Joey's they kind of give they, me a sci-fi movie. They ride that same kind of line, <laughs> you know. Storm. I kind of have a funny feeling. I know which one Joey's gonna recommend, but out of curiosity, let's hear it. What are you <clears throat> recommending? And I'll tell you if, I, if it's what I thought. Mine is the menu. Never mind. But that's a really great pick. The menu. The what menu is, is about a guy who is like a six star chef, above five star, mm-hmm. and he invites all these like insanely rich people, journalists, food critics, um, actors. Like all these elitist people to come to his private island for a six course meal that he prepared mm-hmm. for them. And then uh, as they're there and they're really excited to like try the meal, they start realizing the meals are references to their personal lives and how he strongly dislikes all of them. And mm-hmm. as the night continues, not only do the dishes get more gross and more personal, but you start to see that like everyone on that island is like, I will die for you, chef. Like we will, we will get to the end of this six course meal, mm-hmm. even if it has to like kill everyone there. It mm-hmm. t- turns into saw, Jerry. It's it, turn, it, it turns into saw. it's definitely like uh like saw. It's on the level of like saw, but it's not in the like in gore and like there's yeah. really no blood and gore in the movie. But it's the feeling of like you're trapped. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like you're trapped and you don't know. And every time he brings out a dish, he starts with a clap like really loud i'm sorry for the mics but he starts with a loud ass clap and you're just kind of like waiting for him to present the meal and see what it has to do they even give you the ingredients for the meal if you want to cook it at home it's also <laughs> ralph fines it's not fair the guy's incredible but that's a great pick hey we need a fancy guy for this movie <laughs> 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 all right uh for my sci-fi slash horror pick i'm gonna go with a little bit of both oh i'm gonna go with uh a very good movie, arguably one of A24's best, and that is Ex Machina. I have to watch that. Very great so movie. Uh, it's with Oscar Isaac. It's a movie about a, let me know if this sounds familiar, a young software developer who uh, wins a competition to basically go to the CEO of his business or of his company's house. And this guy's like, you know, Zuckerberg, Musk level type stuff. Uh-huh. And that's who Oscar Isaac plays. And there, Oscar Isaac's character reveals that he's working on like super super human like artificial intelligence to the point where it's like it's almost there mm. but in typical horror sci-fi fashion some crazy shit ensues but it's a really well done movie and like i think my favorite thing about it is even though it is very like stylistic and very much sci-fi in its nature in a weird way a lot of it feels very real like it feels is like this it could the be possible movie that you showed me was that weird scene? dancing yeah that is exactly okay. that movie yeah, okay. yes yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tear up the fucking dance floor. <laughs> Go ahead, Dillo. Okay, so my movie is old, like '90s old, not that old, uh, and it's a sequel of a movie that Bobby drew a poster for, and that is The Exorcist Three. Uh, it stars a very old George C. Scott as a very troubled man, like the saddest human being, right? Uh, and this uh, poltergeist really likes uh, people that are geriatric. Old Jerry, people. Jerry. <laughs> uh, that's why you'll like it. But uh, <laughs> no, but like, uh, yeah, the movie is just like very weird. Like, it's not that scary, horrific wise, but it's like it's really unsettling to see people like grandmas not act like grandmas essentially. Mm-hmm. 
And then also, <laughs> and my girlfriend was fucking horrified of this movie. Like, she ran out of the room. Because it's very <laughs> big on, like, the religious stuff. Like, stained glass windows breaking. Mother Mary statue falling. Which, might I add, shit. is the type of shit that will make my parents jump out of yeah, the window. Yeah, yeah. It's like hilarious. Any, like, anyone who would... Like, I don't think this movie's, really, like, scary at all. I think the old people is the scary part. But everyone who's religious is like, this movie's <laughs> fucking horrifying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to watch all the Exorcist movies because the new one is coming up. Yeah. And it looks really good. So what's getting added to the list, Jerry? Ah uh, man, I think it's a tie between Bobby's and Joey's. Not gonna lie, those are two good. They're movies. really good yeah, movies. They're really good, good movies. movies. You might have to double feature them. The menu, I was like, damn, Joey's just gonna win straight up. <laughs> <laughs> and then I came in with the movie about Jerry's real job. Oh my god, yeah, we're <laughs> he's a coder. Shit is crazy. All right, you got some recommendations, dog. You got you got some stuff added to your list. Yeah. Now what'll make this extra fun is if you watch them and then we, in like two months, Jerry reviews all five movies we gave. <laughs> in him. one go. In one go. Ten minutes each. Make Jerry write a fucking essay. <laughs> what I learned in books. Make Jerry make Chad is, GPT write an essay. This is true because. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore. All right, before we end this thing, I just wanted to give one quick shout out to one last piece of media that I consumed over the past week and a half. Yeah. And I thought it might be cool to slip in because even though it was a video game, that shit felt a lot like a movie. I'll tell you that much. And that was Ghost of Tsushima. Okay. Love Ghost it. of Tsushima came out like what, two years ago at this point? Two and I half, think yeah. something like that. I am so pissed at myself that I haven't played that game sooner. <laughs> Crazy great game. Legitimate 10 out of 10. Like if I could give it higher than it, I would. The story is absolutely excellent in like a very unique way. I, I got tired of all like the tra- quote unquote traditional storytelling stuff, but this one does a completely, not a completely new thing, but something fresh that I liked. So it's kind of like an uncle nephew story, which is cool. Mm. But regardless, fucking fantastic fucking game about a, a once great samurai who becomes the ghost of Tsushima because he adopts tactics that samurai wouldn't to save his people. It's kind of like a vigilante in feudal okay. Japan. Mm. Uh, the game play is incredible. It's move. like, <laughs> amazing stealth elements mixed with pretty satisfying platforming and climbing with an incredibly satisfying combat like uh, uh, combat system mm-hmm. it's very reliant on like parrying and like quick re- reactions it feels like a, a watered down Dark Souls kind of but it's really really not fun as, uh, not as intense reading, yeah, yeah for sure uh, you know the fucking art style that game is beautiful besides the environments and the fact that they made it look incredible like the flowers and the wildlife and the nature even just like th- some of the things that the game developers did like whenever there's cutscenes, like you'll see the black bars come in for that 16 by 9 ratio like this is a movie now sometimes even the color grading changes there's a really cool part of the game where I won't spoil what happens but you turn into like a psycho samurai and it turns into like a Kurosawa movie where yeah, it's black yeah, and yeah. white and anytime you kill somebody it's like flashes of red streaks and shit like that it's just a very stylistic game yeah. and I wanted to give very one conscious. last shout out to its developer Sucker Punch <laughs> who I can definitely say at this point is my favorite game dev of all time they have like the best cat I mean that's like you a know, solid catalog yeah, Ghost of Tsushima they had the infamous series and then of course near and dear to my heart the Sly Cooper series which I wanted to bring up because I can't believe I'm saying this Ghost of Tsushima feels like a grown up Sly Cooper Oh, you're like, walking on wires you're stalking your targets from above rooftops you're crawling underneath things just like Sly Cooper does like it really does like it, it's very easy to see that game and be like Sucker Punch did this Sucker like it Punch, feels okay. exactly like it and does it, he do like a little spin before getting on the wire he doesn't do a little <laughs> spin he doesn't do the spire jump but uh, other than that it's just a fucking fantastic a game step. no no but do me a favor guys and seriously play that game it's so good like i said i put it in the chat but i the only inst- thing i know about the game is i went over to uh my cousin's house and he was playing it like tired it was late yeah. so he was like tired and he's like playing ghost of tsushima you ever played it i'm like no and i watched a little bit of it and he was like riding a horse yeah <laughs> oh and two more things uh fucking what was i gonna say the game is so good that it's, it's like a three act game. So after act one, I did like a submission, which put me on a boat and sent me to an island. And that was like three hours of gameplay. I didn't realize that was a DLC. I literally thought I was playing act two. And then I beat it and I was like, that was fucking incredible. 
and now I have to go back to the game, and that was fucking incredible. <laughs> so even the DLC yeah, that I didn't have game. to play was fucking like, awesome. Oh, this is a different. Like if I had game. to do it again, obviously I would have finished the first game first and then gone to the DLC. But even that, like, there's no spoilers or anything. Oh, it's okay. me- it's meant to work that no matter when you do it, kind of like it all the works. important stuff is in like none. Like if somebody dies, they don't mention it, or if somebody's still alive, they don't mention it. Okay, so. that's awesome and thoughtful of them. No, for sure, Sucker Punch is good like that. Like those Sucker Punch, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, those are like the the the, the big three when it comes to like playstation amazing games but i forgot what the other thing i was gonna say was though but just play the game it's great super fun i'll pick it up oh yeah i was just gonna say the game has like a lot of moments in the story where like you'll be playing it and you'll be like let's fucking go like you get a new power up or like something new happens and you're like yeah let's go so yeah play ghost of tsushima it's probably the uh most i've ever felt like i was playing a movie playing a game Hmm. it beat ragnarok for me in that regard Wow. wow for sure Ragnarok Definitely. was good. Ragnarok was good. Yeah, this was the game had Ragnarok me hooked. Tsushima, just right a little there. bit. It's a little high. Mr. Masagi, right? Yeah, Katamari Damacy. <laughs> but anyway, finally, no more movies. Let's talk about music. Let's talk about some jams, some yams, no. some some tams of the week. Do I even have my phone? I think I left my phone upstairs. Do you need it to look up something? I was gonna look up my jam. Do but you I, want I my have, phone? Come on, I have Bobby. On my laptop. Laptop. Okay, I'll go first, Dan. Yeah. My song is Love Like That by Indy. I don't know why I give a southern accent there. Really? But yeah, uh, hyper pop, you know, uh, guitar, beautiful combo. It's one of those songs that like I kind of wish it was a minute and a half because it's like the same beat for the most of the song, but hey, it works. It's good. Fire. Yeah. What you call it? As I was setting up my classroom for the first day of school, I put on the most chipper of song by Brand New <laughs> called Jesus Christ. Uh, I was it's the last I haven't been listening to a lot of music, but it's the last song that played on my Spotify and I was I remember jamming to it as I was cutting out um cute pictures of like pre K related stuff to this very sad song. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna go with the classic cause cause the instrumental is just such a vibe. I'm gonna go with "It Was a Good Day" by Ice Cube. Wow! Yeah, wow. yeah. it was a to, to vibe, man. It's just a it is a banger. Vibe. I was gonna honorable mention that song from the from the meme. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, uh, you're talking about the uh, Scooby Doo meme. The yeah. Doc. <laughs> Fucking, uh, my jam of the week is gonna be "15 Missed Calls" by that Mexican OT featuring Sploosh God. Let it just be known, I came really close to having it be "Let's Get It Started" by the Black Eyed Peas because I played it at my house the other day, uh, which is kind of a jam. Glad they changed the name on that one, but. Uh, Saved their career, to be honest. Honestly speak, I actually read up on it. It was really interesting. So if you didn't know, Let's Get It Started used to be named something different. It used to be named Let's Get. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that was the official name. Like, if you go back on YouTube, they don't have it on streaming services, but you can find the original version where they all sing it and stuff. But the NBA reached out to Black Eyed Peas and asked if they could make a clean version of that song to use as part of like the All Star Week of in yeah, like yeah, 2002 yeah. or something like that. Mm-hmm. So they re-recorded it and made it clean, and it became so popular that they made the re-recorded version. Let's get it started, like the newest single on the album, and it ended up becoming like one of the most popular songs on it. So good Probably on them for the better. <laughs> good, good move. Yeah, and then they made "I Got a Feeling" the best song ever made ever. That album is so bad. Let's kick mm-hmm. it. But I'm not. Uh, I'm one <laughs> day, two. <laughs> we can hate on the Black Eyed Peas on another there. episode. Right now. Until then, thank you all for watching. Make sure to go ahead and like this episode if you enjoyed us talking about some movies. If you enjoyed mm-hmm. playing along to some poorly drawn posters, and uh, you know, subscribe to the boys because we got some cool stuff in the works coming your way yeah uh until next week we've been a uh, team joystick you know and uh cut ow